Merry meet everybody and how is everybody today? I'm assuming you're all blessed because you are blessed. It's a wonderful world and it's what you make it. Abracadabra. What you speak is what will come. If you think negative and you speak negative, you will get negative. If you think positive and you speak positive, you will get positive. The mind controls everything. The mind is the most powerful thing. When you learn to change your thinking, your life will become so much better. I am Lady Lisa, your High Priestess, and I am on here to give you a few little tips when it comes to spells, and then we're going to talk about how I do tarot and oracle cards the proper way for me. Okay. If you're doing a spell, whether you're a veteran or you're a newbie, if you're watching this video, you may agree, you may not agree. When I do spells, I always use glitter. I love glitter. It's magical to me. To speed up my spells, I always put coffee, sugar, and red glitter into my spells. Now, I will always all add other glitter as well, but the red glitter, the coffee, and the sugar definitely absolutely speeds your spells up okay it's still at the end of the day up to mother universe whether the magic is going to start in a couple days a couple weeks can't rush magic however you can add a little something something into the spell to get it a little little speed to it if you understand okay so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about tarot and oracle cards. Now, I read from poker decks as well. I actually love reading a person with a poker deck. Okay? When I read from a poker deck, I'm just reading you. I'm just telling you stuff by the card that's pulled. Things that I couldn't have known. Because that's what a real psychic and medium high priestess witch can do. A real gifted person can do. If you're following somebody on social media or you're following a lot of people on social media and they claim they're the bomb and they can do this, that, and this, but they can only do this, that, and this if you pay them, tell them to read you with a poker deck. Or, test them and tell them that somebody passed in your life that didn't. And if they pull them through, then you know they're a fake before you give them your money. It's just another witchy tip, okay? Now, the way I do tarot and oracle is, first of all, oracle cards are beautiful. I love oracle cards. I have many of them. Oracle cards do not tell the future. They are just messages, okay? But they're beautiful. I love, love, love oracle cards. Absolutely. If you hear music in the background, as a disclaimer, I own no rights to the music, okay? Oracle cards, beautiful. The very most important thing in the world is you always must sage Whatever you're working with, whether it be a pendulum, a crystal ball, or or tarot, oracle cards, poker deck. Before and after each reading. Because what it does, what happens is when you're reading somebody, their energy is put into the cards. When you go to read the next person, you're carrying over that person's energy. So the right cards may not be pulled. So you always must sage your cards or whatever you're working with before and after each reading, okay? Now, when I do private readings or parties, I always allow my clients to touch my cards. I've heard people say they don't allow people to touch their cards. I totally disagree with that. I believe 100% that you should allow your clients to touch your cards, now, tarot, okay, any type of tarot card that you may have, they tell past, present, and future, all right? I always like to do a three-card spread, 
that's my favorite. I love the number three. I work with three, so I always do a three card spread. Now I could go more, and sometimes I do, but I'd like to do three cards. So what I would do when I'm doing a reading, if I'm in front of the person, is I will shuffle the cards. I do them two ways. I will shuffle the cards, I will hand them the cards, and I will ask them to put their hands on the card, say their name, their birth date, and make a wish without me hearing it. And then I'll shuffle, and I'll wait for three cards to pull out. Now, when, let me take the rubber band off. When I'm shuffling, and I'm pulling the cards, I pull them like I'm reading a book. The proper way to pull a card and turn it over is like you're reading a book. Like you're turning the page in a book. That's the proper way. It's also the proper way to get your client to do it as well, is turn it over like you're reading a book. Not just, okay? Over like you're reading a book. What do we have here? The King of Swords. Okay, so that would be the way. Another way I love to do my cards is shuffle, Shuffle, shuffle. Put them on the table, spread them out. Spread them out all over the table like this. Then I'll let the client touch the cards. Okay, say their name, say their birth date, go over the cards with their hands, put their energy into the cards, make a wish, and pull their own three cards. And then I'll read them their cards. Okay. Now you may do it differently. You may not agree with me or you may be learning. So that's why I'm teaching you how I was taught traditionally by my grandmother. How to do tarot cards properly. Okay. There's all different types of spreads. Okay. And there's all different ways to do your spreads. I'm only teaching a three, a three card spread. Like a past, present, and future because that's the way I like to do my cards. I like to do everything in threes unless the client requests something else. So remember, it's very imperative that you cleanse before and after a reading. Now, if you're going in, say you're in a group and you're reading and you say, I'm pulling cards and you have people commenting below saying, I want a card. What you do with your deck, depending on the deck that they choose is you're going to take your deck and you're going to say the person's name. So let's say Joni. I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to keep saying Joni. I'm going to say her last name, Joni Keys. Joni Keys. And I'll keep saying it until a card pop, pops out, which a card will fly out. When that card flies out, then that would be the card that I would read her. Let's just say this flew out. Then I would, it's a reverse, the sun reversed. I would read her that card if I was doing that in group, okay? Now, if I was live in group, like I will be tonight in my group going live and doing some readings, because you got to pull the energy from the person into the cards by saying their name, or you're not going to get a right card. You can't just pull a card. It may resonate, it may not, but that's not how I do it, okay? I pull the energy from the person's name into the cards. Now, when I go live, I do the same thing. If a person states that they want a certain deck, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to say the name. Let's say we're saying Michael. Michael Jones. And, I'm put, and, and there you go. And then the five of coins popped out upright. And then I would read him this card. But I would keep saying his name as I'm shuffling until the card popped out. But before, I would sage my cards before and after. Okay? So, I hope that you like this video. Well, I don't like the word hope. Because hope to me is doubt. You're going to like this video. I'm sure. And if not. 
you'll be kind and just keep scrolling past without a thumbs down like I do to videos that I don't agree with. Because thumbs down is it's immature. They don't like what somebody says unless they're disrespecting you. Because you got a thumb. You push the thumbs down button. That's not nice. People are on here taking their time out to help others, whether you agree or not. So to give somebody a thumbs down, you don't have to give a thumbs up, but you don't have to give a thumbs down either. That's not nice. Okay, so if you like this video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Push the bell button so you can get my alerts when I build up enough people and enough likes and enough audience money's coming money money come to me with harm to none so mote it be and it just what you tip on your butt um i'm gonna go live and answer some questions once i build up an audience so please subscribe please push the, the thumbs up and the bell button so you can get alerts when i go live if you have any questions, please comment below. I will try to answer them the best that I can. And um, that's all I have to say for this video. So many blessings to you. Angels, protection, scent, love and light, and bless be. And until the next time I see you, thank you for watching. Lady Lisa, your high priestess.